Hello students and uh, welcome to the session. Uh, how are you? Hope uh, you all are doing well in your academics. Okay, and the, how the preparation is going on? Great, great, good. You know, it's, it's always good to have a planned uh, preparation and uh, you should uh, plan your day which is very very important right you should you know check out your uh, weaker points where you know you need to work on right so that is very very important okay so uh, today uh, my dear students will be discussing a topic arithmetic progression and uh, the theory part of this arithmetic progression I will be discussing first. If you have any query on that part, you can ask me. Followed by a problem from your side. If you have any queries from the in chapter exercise or illustrations from the you know module which we are giving to you. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take step by step, right? So first of all, we'll discuss uh, the theoretical part of arithmetic progression. So first of all, let us understand what is uh, arithmetic progression, right? So generally, uh, you know, the arithmetic progression is what? So let us take an example, 2, 4, 6, 8, right? So you can see here, there's a, a common difference there, right? Which is 4, 4 minus 2, right? There's a common difference. So this is 2. We have a common difference, which is 6 minus 4, which is again 2, right? We have D, which is 8 minus 4, which is 2. So whenever there is a sequence where common difference is same, we say that this is an AP. So this is an arithmetic sequence or this is an arithmetic progression. Right? Now, my next question, the next theoretical part which we are going to discuss is how to add all the terms which are in AP. Say, if I have first term as A, Second term is a plus d. You know these are all the terms which are in, which are in, which are in AP, right? So this is how it goes. Now there are two forms. One is n upon two, right? A plus you know a n. That is we can write in this way also. N by two. The first term. Plus the last term. Okay? Right. This is how we write it. Or we can write it as n upon 2. Right? n upon 2 twice a plus n minus 1 times d. So you can see here there are two forms. One is n by 2, first term plus last term, and the second form is this. Now theoretically, when you use this particular formula, both the formulas in a particular arithmetic expression, we generally get the sum. So I hope this particular theory is clear to you. If you have any doubts, Nitekya, you can ask me. Students. Okay, I need to explain the difference between the two forms again, right? I need to explain it, isn't it? Okay, I will explain you, don't worry, I will explain you, right? See students, what happens? You know, this is the first term, right? This is the first term, isn't it? And the last term is the nth term. Nth term is what? A n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. Isn't it? This is what we know. Nth term. So what I do? I substitute a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay? So a plus a is nothing but twice a plus this is n minus 1 times d. Right? This is how I write it. So, you can see that. So, this is how it we derive. I hope this is clear. Okay, great, great. Very nice. Okay. Now, if you have any queries, you can ask me from the module. If you have any queries, you can ask me. Yes. Okay. So 
सो यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इलेस्ट्रेशन माइन ओके राइट ओके लेट मी लेट मी गिव यू द राइट टू स्पीक फर्स्ट यस yes i can um, okay okay so let me take the question number illustration mind okay illustration mind that we take i think this is the question you have right illustration mind is it How many terms of the series twenty four, twenty sixteen? Is it total seventy two? Okay, let me take the question first. You know, you can see that uh, I have taken in the third slide, the third page, illustration mind. How many terms of the series twenty four, twenty sixteen? You know, total seventy two. So uh, first of all, you know, you need to check uh, whether it is an AP or not. This is a very important thing. So let me check whether it is an AP. Twenty minus twenty-four is it? It is minus four. Right. Sixteen minus twenty. Okay. Which is minus four. This is an AP. Okay. This is an AP. So we have A is equal to twenty-four. We have D is equal to you know minus four as I have told you. How many terms that totals? When you say totals, this is a very important thing. Totals. This means we are talking about the sum part. Right. So that means we know the formula for sum. Okay, let me write the sum formula: n by two twice a plus n minus one times d. Okay. So sum to n terms. So you have been given the sum, right? Sum is seventy-two. We have to find the number of terms. That is n. As I told you, n is nothing but the number of terms. We substitute. We write seventy-two. We take n. n need to be found out so n by 2 we have two times a a is how much 24 plus n minus 1 into minus 4 right this is how we write it okay so fine so i hope uh, you have understood the thing yeah i have how i have substituted right the so 72 so 72 we can cross multiply we can write it as n times 48 Minus four n plus four equals to you know one forty four right. So we can take it uh, you know forward now. We can write forty eight plus four. This is fifty two minus four n right, which is one forty four. I can write it as minus four n square plus fifty two n is equal to one forty four right. You can see the steps, huh? So I'm just writing the steps again. This is the step number one. I have taken all those uh, step number one. I have introduced the formula step number two. I have written. I have substituted all the possible things given to us, and we get a quadratic equation, which is coming out to be four n square minus fifty two n, okay, plus one forty four. So we can solve this quadratic equation. I think mean, if we solve it, we'll get around n is equal to nine. so quadratic equation solving quadratic equation is a very easy job i know i uh, i think you all know how to solve it so you can solve the quadratic equation using the factorization method or maybe the discriminant method right okay so i hope uh, this question is clear to you great 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 okay great so uh, uh students i hope uh, this particular concept is clear to you and some to end terms the illustration i have taken it is clear is it great 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 okay so uh, uh you know once we do the you know, theory part and we have come, uh, taken one example also we have taken your query also let let me give you a problem uh this is a question from my polling uh you know we have a system called polling where i will be set i am publishing a question for you 
and you need to solve it right so i'm publishing for you you need to solve it okay let me give you okay this is a question i have students you know find the sum of 20 terms in the sequence 1 4 7 10 okay right answer is you have given the answer that me option two okay okay Okay. <laughs> I think the answer is 590, so you can just check it out. The option is A is correct, not 580. Maybe you have done some calculation mistake, you need to work on that. Okay? No issues. Fine? So it's a very, very careful about the calculation part, Nitika, because you know the calculation plays a very vital role. And you have very less time in your examination, you know. So you have to be very, very careful. You need to practice a lot. Okay? So I hope uh, you know this. Uh, uh, you know, practice practicing and uh, you know taking care of your mistakes always helps. It's a learning process, right? It's a learning curve. Okay, so you do mistake, you learn from that. Okay, then the next test you should not repeat that. Okay, Chala, that's great, great. So let me end the poll. Okay, right. Okay then. So I hope uh, all students present here uh, have understood the concept. We have discussed the things. We have taken uh, problem theory followed by a doubt. Then I've given you a polling question, right? And uh, we tried that. Really appreciable. So I end up this session now. Thank you, students. God bless you. See you. Bye. Take care.